Hey everybody, this is Buddy Blackford here with another After Effects CS6 tutorial. This time we're going to go over slip editing and I'm just going to only cover slip editing in this tutorial because it's kind of a little hard to understand. Um, pretty much when you edit your video footage like like so and move the uh, time move the layer and trim it, you get this little light bar right here that is actually video footage that is still there but I mean you can't see it so say you wanted your uh, video footage to only be like a couple like a second long or something around there like this but hey you you accidentally started on the wrong <clears throat> um, section of your video you can come over to the um, part of the video that's lighter and you'll turn into it'll turn into a double uh, arrow with two bars on the edge this is when you know that your slip editing tool is active and you can click and drag and the video footage will kind of like slide behind your bar that's already there and you can change where the video footage is going to start like this now, hopefully you get the idea. It's a little hard to understand, but just kind of think of it as this This is like your footage right here is like a bridge, and your footage that you trimmed already is like water, and it goes underneath. And you can, you can change where you wanted your footage to start and everything. Instead of having to trim a layer and then um, move it with a selection tool and trim it again to get to where you wanted to, you can use the slip editor to easily change... Uh, where your layer is gonna where your footage is gonna start also when you're slipping your footage <clears throat> it's going to leave uh, the keyframes there in the same place unless you select the uh, the keyframes it'll add or it'll slip along with the uh, footage they had so if you spent some time ma masking or rotoscoping <clears throat> and you want the uh, footage to stay or you want your mask to stay with your footage then you'll want to have the that mask selected and you'll want uh, you'll want to have that mask keyframe selected and it'll slip alongside with the footage so what i did is i did a um a quick mask here um let's put it on and i just masked out roughly the nose of the of the lion so you can see there when I turn the uh, toggle mask on, you can see that there is a mask there and it's cutting out his nose. And I roughly have it following. And I also have opacity keyframes down here just to help um, show you what's going on. So let me s slip the footage right here and watch the, watch the keyframes. You can see that they stay in position where they are. Well, that's not good if I mask because now the mask doesn't line up anymore. So I'm going to hit Control Z to get it back to where it was. And it kind of, well, the nose kind of lines up. I didn't spend a whole lot of time on it. So what you want to do when that happens is select these keyframes here. And when you go to, <clears throat> when you go to slip the footage, now those keyframes that you have selected will stay with it and I can come over here to where there are keyframes and you can see that it's still the mask still lines up so there's a that's a, the way to uh, work with that so I'll get back there and as you see the uh, opacity keyframes didn't move along with it they stayed where they were so you want your footage to fade out but you don't but you want the mask to stay with it use your slip editor there to uh to uh line up keep everything lined up and move your keyframes along the timeline as you like now if you try to like move these move this it'll move the keyframes with it also so i mean now you can see how to to properly use that <clears throat> if you're working and the slip editor just doesn't show up right here like see say we're at the uh we didn't need to trim the footage at all there and now you're like, uh, how do I slip edit these? Well, if you come up here to the pan behind tool, 
which um, you can press Y for the hotkey for it, click on it, and now your slip editor is back on. So as you can see at the end of this footage over here, you can see that this is being slipped. Now I'm gonna go back and I guess that's a, <clears throat> that's all there is to really show about the slip editor. It's handy when you're uh, rotoscoping things. It's handy when you just wanna move your uh, video footage around. For uh, for uh, images, it not really doesn't really work a whole lot. You can well, let me bring this down here. So here's the image, and if I try to slip at it or try to edit, there's not going to be any extra space here for you to slip edit. So you would just come to the pan behind tool and and move and move it. But I mean, there's not a whole lot of sense. But you can still do it. It'll you can move keyframes around like that, so that'll be easy. I mean, you can also move keyframes around on an image with the selection tool. So the slip editor is mostly for video. Um, that's all for this tutorial. Hope hopefully you guys learned something, and let's uh, hopefully you can use it on your next project. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.